Hey guys, it's Elena. Today I wanted to show you how to make a monochrome alcohol ink piece in Procreate. It is mostly monochrome though I will be adding some gold accents at the end and I think that it's really interesting to try and use only one color for an abstract piece because it really forces you to focus on texture and composition. And in this case, the composition is fairly simple. It's just sort of a blob in the bottom left corner and white space in the top right corner. However, I really did have to think about adding texture and interest to that area. And so actually at the end, I also decided to change the color and add some adjustments outside of Procreate. So if you want to see how I did that, you can stick around to the end to see those tips. But I hope you enjoy the tutorial and let's go ahead and get started. I'm starting out on a 20 by 16 inch canvas at 300 DPI and I'm using my Amazing Alcohol Ink brush set. And the color that I will start out using is this dark blue and I was kind of going for an indigo look but I actually changed the color at the very end so be sure and stick around for that if you want to see how to do that. So I'm starting out with my color changing number two brush from the alcohol ink set and I'm just adding a little bit of texture down here at the bottom and I will go ahead and use my color changing number three as well and just keep adding and building different texture. So I'm not overlapping the texture but I'm just sort of filling in different areas with different brushes so that we have a lot of different texture going on. At this point I selected my smoky brush and this one is just a bit different from the brushes I had used previously in that you can keep using the brush in the same brush stroke um, over and over in the same spot to sort of lighten it and I wanted to use this to tie everything together because I had put a bunch of different textures on the screen and I kind of wanted to make it all more cohesive by using this brush in the, the cracks so to speak. Now I have selected my Heavy Bleed Blender brush and I'm taking this brush along some of the edges to fade them out very gently, just kind of tugging it all in an outward way. And then I will also use this brush to go inward as well towards the color in order to fade it inward. Now I'm going to the adjustments menu and selecting liquify and I'm on push. I'm keeping the size at about 41% and the pressure the same and the momentum is most of the way up and I'm just going to use this liquify tool to move some of this around just a little bit. I'm trying not to go do a lot because it's really easy to go overboard with liquify and it can end up looking a bit cartoony. So I always try to be a little bit careful, especially at the beginning as I'm sort of feeling out how I want to do this and what, what movement looks best with this piece. Now I'm selecting my color splatter brush, all of this still in the same color, and strategically adding just a few splashes of color onto this. And now I'm switching to my spray blender, and this is a blender brush that does not add anything to the canvas, but it picks up color or lack of color from wherever you start the brush stroke. So you can see what I did there, I just took the pen uh, from the white background and just dragged it over onto another part of the piece. So that's just what I'm doing. I'm mostly taking it from the light areas and dragging it very gently 
um, over top of some of the darker areas to give those areas a bit more texture. And it's all very subtle, but it really makes a difference in just giving this little bit of realistic texture to the piece. Now I've switched to my eraser tool and I have the alcohol ink brushes folder open and I've selected add ink depth texture as my eraser brush and my opacity is down most of the way so that it's very subtle but I'm going to use this brush as an eraser to just add a bit more texture to some of the darker areas in the piece. Now I'm adding a new layer on top of everything else and this will be for my metallics. So this is the metallics palette that comes with the alcohol ink brush set and I'm selecting a neutral gold color. And still within the alcohol ink brush set, I'm going to choose my ultra fine glitter brush and start adding some very fine glitter to these darker areas. And I've just built up a lot of texture in these areas, so I don't really want to cover it up completely. So that's why I've chosen the ultra fine glitter to begin with, so I can just start to feel where I want this glitter and avoid just covering up all this nice texture that I just made, but still have a bit of sparkle to it. Now I'm choosing my metallic ink liner brush because I just wanted to add a couple of larger flakes to these areas where I've got all this glitter going on. Again, just going a little bit light with it, just adding a couple of flakes here and there to add a variety to the size of, of the glitter in these areas. At this point I decided that I wanted to experiment with making the color black instead of blue. So I duplicated that bottom layer and turned off the bottom one so that we just had an extra. And I went to my adjustments menu, hue, saturation, and brightness. And I turned the saturation all the way down so that the whole thing went gray. Then I went to my share menu and I saved the image as a JPEG and I just hit save image to my iPad. So now it's on my photos roll, on my photo roll. And then I went to open my photos app and this is an app that comes with the iPad. So if you have an iPad, you do have this app and they just have some adjustments in this app that are not available in Procreate. So I went to edit and then I chose contrast and turn that up to about 30%. And then I went ahead and went down to the black point as well and turned that up as well so that the whole thing just popped a bit more. So that's about it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope that this was helpful to you. It's a really interesting exercise to try and remove color from the equation and just see what you can do without color and it can really help to sort of stretch your creativity a little bit. So I hope that you enjoyed it and thank you so much for doing this with me. And if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and I will talk to you next time.